So I'm curious how many of you had a lunch lady? We had an amazing one and she made the best peanut butter bars after a lot of years of research my sisters and i have come up with the perfect lunch lady peanut butter bar so if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Kristen hills from six sister stuff now i usually share easy dinner ideas but i could not pass up on this recipe school is almost out so we're celebrating. Now growing up, you didn't get these peanut butter bars with every single meal, but I just remember every Friday, my mom would let me bring 50 cents, I'd give it to the lunch lady, and she would then give me my own peanut butter bar. So if you want some memories flooding back and some tasty goodness in your mouth, let's go make these easy lunch lady peanut butter bars. So you're gonna add one cup of butter to a microwave safe bowl, and then we're just gonna throw this into the microwave until it's softened. So when it's all nice and softened, just dump it into your mixing bowl. Then you just need one cup of sugar and one cup of brown sugar. Make sure you press that down. Next, you're gonna crack two eggs and also put it right in. On top of that, add one teaspoon of vanilla. And go ahead and mix that together. Looking good. So this recipe calls for two and a half cups of peanut butter. Sometimes it's hard to put it into a measuring cup, so I kind of just eyeball. So right now we're just doing one cup. We're gonna save the cup and a half for later. So next we're adding two cups of oats. And on top of that, two cups of flour. And last, you're gonna add just one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. And mix it all together. Next, you're gonna take a cookie sheet and spray it with cooking spray. And I'm just gonna take the dough and I like to put it right in the middle. Okay, the trick when you're making peanut butter bars is that you don't want to push the dough all the way to the sides. You want to leave a good inch on each side because it will expand and grow. And so then you won't have the crazy crust, it will all be even. Okay, they're all ready. We're gonna bake them at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, so it just came out of the oven. Now you're gonna add just little tablespoons all over the peanut butter bars while they're still really hot. Okay, we're gonna let it sit just like this for about two minutes or so, let the peanut butter melt, then we're gonna spread it all around. Okay, we're all done here. We're gonna set it aside and make the frosting. So this frosting recipe is my mom's homemade frosting. So it's not exactly like the peanut butter bars you had growing up, but I'm telling you, it makes it even better using this recipe. So we're gonna start by adding a half cup of butter just right into the bowl. Now this is really softened. Then we're gonna add just about a fourth cup of milk. On top of that, we're gonna add three cups of powdered sugar. Perfect. On top of that, one teaspoon of vanilla and four tablespoons of cocoa. Then beat it all together. Just spread it carefully out. All right, guys, you can see all these layers. Taste test. Mm. Just give me a minute. <laughs> it's really one of my favorites. All right, if you want more easy dessert recipes, you can find some just right up there. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.